So, when you are working with the MATLAB simulator, there could be the issues with the sampling time. So, when you are working and you have taken the two blocks and which are working a different sampling rate, then how can you handle this different sampling rate if both the blocks are working with different sampling rate? So, for example, you are having two blocks and one block is working in a T1 sample and another block is working in a sampling rate. So, when you are working with these two sampling rate, there will always be a data loss or there will always be a data integrity. These issues can happen generally. So, how can you handle this? Okay, for example, one block is working in a 1 second sampling rate and another block is working in a 2 second sampling rate. That means this block can execute its operation in 1 second and this block can execute its operation in a 2 second. So we can say this is the slower block and this is the faster block because it is completing its execution in 1 second and this block is executing its uh, Execution in a two seconds, so it is known as a slower block. Okay, so now the faster block is giving the output is V1 and it is sending the data to the second block, that is slower block. Now, this slower block will get the V1 data and it will start execution. In that case, it will take the two second time to complete the execution. In meanwhile, the T1 Again, send the data that is B2 data and it reach to the T2 block, the second block. So, till now, the T2 block did not complete its execution and it reach, it reached the another, it received the another data that is B2. So, this kind of data is not a protected data. Okay, because T2 has reached the Receive the another word, another signal, another data. So this kind of uh, signal, this kind of a system, and the data transfer is not the protected. And this is the issue is happening due to the data integrity. Okay, so when the block is sending the data, and until the last, another block did not compute its computations. And it is receiving the another data. So this is the issue is known as the data integrity. And such kind of data transfer is called as unprotected data type, unprotected transfer. So in protected data transfer, what happened? In protected data transfer, once the slower data, slower block has completed its execution, the faster block will send the new data. So this kind of Data transfer is known as a protected data transfer. Okay, so that could be the another data that is a data, deterministic data transfer and non deterministic data transfer. So, in the deterministic data transfer, the timing of the data transfer is completely predictable and that is determined by the sample rates of the block. So, we know that this block will transfer the data in one second and this block will transfer the data in two seconds. So we know at what time which block is transferring the data. So this is transferring the data at one second and this is transferring the data in two seconds. So we know the complete predictable. So data transfer timing is completely predictable and that is determined by the sample time. So that is a non-deterministic data transfer. That is also depends on availability of the data. Sample rate of the block and the time at which receiving blocks begin to execute relative to driving blocks. So that is known as a non deterministic data type or non deterministic data transfer. So, what happens when such kind of system you are using in your MATLAB simulator? So, when you are generating the code while using such kind of system, your code is not always accurate. So what you need to do? 
you have to add something in between both the blocks so your code could be accurate and the data transfer and data should be protected and the data transfer rate should be known so what can we do we can add a rate transition block so we can add the rate transition block in between these two blocks so when we are have when we are adding the rate transition block in between these two blocks it will automatically handle the different rate okay so how it is doing how it is handling the rate of the different block so one block is having the faster rate another block is having the slower rate and it could be opposite also the input block can be having the slower this block can be having the slower and this block can be having the faster okay so how it is handling the rate transition so the rate transition block handles periodic and asynchronous transition when this block is inserted when this block is inserted between the two blocks and between different sampling rate blocks the rate transition block configures itself input and depending upon input and output sample rates okay so it will automatically configure itself and that depends upon what is the sampling rate of the input and what is the sampling rate of the output and how you want the data data you want completely protected data and the data you want completely deterministic okay and your data should be completely protected so depending upon these conditions your rate transition block will automatically configure itself so how it is configured itself so it is configuring itself as a zero order hold it is configuring a itself as a delay block and that could be the unit delay it is configuring configuring itself as a buffer and it will trans copy the data from input to the output and it will do the no operation okay and it will do the mixed operation multiple uh, extend it to multiple blocks different behavior so it will do this kind of a task when we are using the rate transition block in our model okay so how would ensure the data integrity during the transfer when we want to ensure the data integrity so in this case it maintain the in data integrity that is the data transfer is a protected and when we want the deterministic data transfer in this case it will work as either zero order hold and unit delay depending upon the input and output blocks so with the help of the zero data transition block the data could be protected and deterministic protected non deterministic and unprotected non deterministic so now we will take an example for example your input block is having the 0.1 second sampling time and it is having your gain of 2 it is having the sampling time of 1 second and your output block this output port it having a sampling time of 0.2 second okay so in this case what happened with the rate transition block okay how it works okay so this is the faster and this is the slower so what will happen in this case to match the sampling time of 0.2 second your rate transition block will act as a zero order hold to match the sampling time of 0.2 second so it will act as a zero order hold so now for example if it is 0.2 second and it is 0.1 second so it is fast to slow right sorry slow to fast so in this case to hold the data okay to to send the data it will act as a unit delay okay so the same thing we will look at at the matlab simulation and we will analyze the results with the help of matlab simulation so now we will go to the matlab and if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel 
so here you can see that we are having the input signals that is we are we have we have taken the sine waveforms and we have connected the rate transition block and the output block output port we have connected over here so we will open the sine waveform and it is having the sample time of 0.1 second and you are having the output port that is having the sample time of 0.2 second so input is 0.1 and output is 0.2 so as we already seen that in this case it will act as a zero order hold so here we haven't given any settings so you can see that this a data transition block can be configured itself as a zero order hold unit delay buffer uh, double buffer and it is directly copy the data in the unprotected uh, data transfer it will do the no operation and it will expand it to multiple blocks with a different behaviors so now this will be act as a zero order hold now we have given the point to sample time for this block and we have given the point one sample time to this block you can see this is the point two and this is the point one so in this case this rate transition block configure itself as a zero or as a unit delay and here we are we have configured the data integrity and we have configured it as an ensured deterministic data transfer so here it will act as a unit delay now we have given the sample time of 0.2 and the output is also having the sample time of 0.2 so it will do the no operation so whatever data we are transferring it will transfer to the output so now we have given the input is 0.1 sample time and uh, output is also having the 0.2 so 0.1 and 0.2 here also we have given the 0.1 and the 0.2 and the difference is that we have given the data integrity and the deterministic data transfer but here we have given the data integrity so in this case it will act as a buffer because the data transfer is not deterministic but we want the data to be protected so it will act as a buffer so now again we have given it as a 0.1 symbol time and we have given it the 0.2 but in this case we have ensured that both it should be data integrity and deterministic data transfer it will act as a buffer so now we will go for the double buffer how it works so we have given the point to sample time and the output is point 0.1 and here we have ensured the data integrity only so it will act as a double buffer now we will run it so it will automatically configures as a zero order hold rate transition so now what we will do we will add the another rate transition and we will remove this block and we will insert this here and we are making the same conditions here so you can say initially there is no symbol of like 1 by z is it, it unit delays the symbol is have creating here so here no symbol is created till now now we will run the simulation and we will see the zero order hold so in this case this block is working as a data transition block is working as a zero order hold so whatever we learned in the theory and uh, with the help of simulating uh, we can uh, the data transition block can configure itself as a zero order hold unit delay no operation buffer and double buffer okay so if you have any query regarding the data transition block you can comment me in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you